Yo, yo, you know, you know what it is, man. The liveest cloud radio show on the planet, dog. You know what it is. Straight from the E-Block Radio, live on your dial. Kitty in my hand, block on my back. Yeah, you went to my hood, but you know it's where I'm at. Ain't where niggas go, I stay reppin' my town. Detroit, beat the city, where it all goes. Yeah, I'm in the city, 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 i am in the city 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 i am in
So shout out to the fight party and shit. Shout out to Mayweather. Mayweather. Mayweather winning again, you know what I'm saying? So who, who you want to see him fight? Because uh, I was Pac over. Don't nobody want to see that shit still. Yes, I do, man. Pacquiao, Pacquiao, Pacquiao went night night. But I still want to see. I was yeah, still want to see. Got knocked out. He night night. So it, it ain't gonna have the same draw now, cause dog, he got knocked out, so dude. Like damn, out the ring, dog. No, he wasn't out the ring. He was yeah, sleep. He was sleep though. He was sleep though. Yeah. For real, like literally. I don't know. I mean, niggas gonna pay for it. I'll pay for it. Yeah, but I'm just. I'm gonna see it. You but that's what it. I want to see. Ain't nobody out there can mess with my man right now. Fuck Pacquiao. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. But back y'all with night night, so we well, see. They ain't gonna ever fight though, so it don't even matter. He gonna go out on history, you know. What I'm <laughs> Undefeated, huh? Yeah. I doubt if that's gonna happen, dog. Yeah, we'll show somebody gonna beat him. You know who? Or if somebody beat him, then he go. Then that's when he go fight back. When he get forty five. Okay, and then that's when he go fight back, yeah. No, no. <laughs> you don't think so? No. Nah, shit, I don't know, man. But uh, shit. Otherwise, that's I bought all I did too, man. I checked out the fight this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, kicked it with, uh, uh, of course, you know what I'm saying, kicked it with Coco and shit and the fam over there. Uh, shout out to Sean, it was his birthday on uh, Saturday, so they had a surprise birthday party slash fight party kind of thing going oh, on. So, yeah, he had like he was surprised, but I think he knew already, so yeah. whatever. We had fun, but what was funny about that shit though, we in the basement, dog, watching the fight, you know, I had me a couple of drinks, something chilling. So then next thing I hear somebody call me, like, Q, like, what the hell? So I'm looking around and shit, had to be one of my parties, right? I went to, uh, went to high school, we played ball with. Married to one of her cousins. What the fuck? Oh, shit, what up, cuz? Like, damn. That's what's up, dog. Small world, dog. For real, real. For real, very small world, dog. It's so small that it's a little bit scary, but that's a whole other subject, so we'll talk about that some other time. So, anyway, <laughs> with all that out the way, uh, what else did I do? I uh, cut the grass for the first time this year, you know what I'm saying? So, that, that first grass cut always a motherfucker, oh, man. Oh, goodness. That shit didn't grow all winter, and she just got all out of hand. Yeah. And you know what? I, I missed church this weekend, though. You know what I'm saying? I felt kind of bad about that because I've been, you know, I've been going a little while, but I ain't gonna lie. First Sundays be treacherous at church, dog. And I, I don't know, man. I be going to, uh, you know what I'm saying? I be going to Triumph, you know, Triumph like, like the, like Walmart and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? It's so huge. So you can imagine that on first Sunday. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Ridiculous. So, yeah, ridiculous, dog. So shout out to Jesus, though, you know what I'm saying? I forgot about you. I just oh, took a day off, you know what I'm saying? 100. Yeah, I ain't take a day off from Jesus, it's just a day off from church. <laughs> right. Okay. But anyway. Put it out there. Yeah, put it out there, dog. But uh, yeah, we're going to get on to the subject, man. So if you've been following us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, then you know what the subject is today, man. We want to know if you got you a new situation, a new little relationship, you know, things going strong, and then you find out that your boo his ex is still stalking them and shit. Like, you know, what What do you do? That's what we want to know. So if you're on eblockradio.com right now, then you got to call us 760-283-4647. If you're on the phone lines, you got to hit that number one key. So we want to know, you're in a relationship, man. Your new boo got an ex who's still stalking them. How do you handle that situation, man? I'm going to let y'all think about that, man. Don't forget, 760 283-4647, hit that number one key. We going to the commercial break real quick, dog. We'll be back in like 53 seconds. Get your mind right, dog. We about to talk about it. Let's go. <laughs> That's all you do. Witness the black tie experience. You child. Black man. tie photography, servicing all of Metro Atlanta area. My name is Cedric Pitt, your <laughs> photographer. Check out our website at www.blacktiepictures.com or like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash black tie pictures. Let me capture your professionalism in class and you will have the ultimate black tie experience. Get the, get the view in. <laughs> right. Contact. Dog, we back in the building, man. What's the deal? You know what it is. The live is cloud radio show on the planet, man. Straight from the E block. And you know who this is, man. Your boy, the hood Howard Stern, Q Lewis. This that nigga Monk Money. Monk Money in the building, man. So, hey, look. So, if y'all just joining us on eblockradio.com or if you just calling in right now, you know what the topic is today, man. We're talking about your new boo. If they ex is still stalking them. I said still stalking like they were stalking them before. But if they ex is stalking them, like, what do you do? How do you intervene? That's what we want to know, dog. So I think that's gonna be a difference between men and women, but we gonna see. We gonna see. So <laughs> damn, you look like you got something to say, bro. Well, go ahead and say it, dog. My money was popping, dog. What you say, dog? Okay, man. If you a dude, 
Okay. And you had some relationship with a woman. Mm -hmm. No, for a while. Okay. Sometimes we take it hard. Sometimes, most of the time. Most of the time. Right. We, we take Sometimes, it, most of the time. We, we take it really, really hard. For sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not even going to lie on the show and say I haven't <laughs> been that nigga that did that drive-by. Yeah. I did it once or twice, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I got, probably got in it one time, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But other than that, though, you know, I had to come to a realization like, Damn, what the hell am I doing, cuz? You know what right. I'm saying? Right, yeah. And, you know. I think it's one of the things that probably just kind of did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without yeah. it. You know, so I can't say all dudes or I don't know about the women thing or, you know, so I had a few of those too, you know yeah. what I mean? But me personally, I think I stalked a woman before. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what do you do though? So obviously you, you've been the stalker before. Yeah. So what you do if you got your new girl and her old dude stalking her? Like, what you do? See, see, that's what. That's yeah, what see, that's yeah, that's what we talking. That's but, what we but, digging into. But, ah, man. Yeah, man. yeah, right. I mean, what what can you do, man? I mean, for real though, you know, honestly though, you got to be that dude to say, look, man, he'll get over it soon. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you get to the point where it's getting stalker scary, like stalker, yeah, okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then that's when you need to intervene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Catch him out in the bushes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let yeah. her call me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And I catch this let you have it. Let me catch him in the bushes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I uh -huh. catch him in the bushes, it's gonna be a different story. You know what I right. mean? Right. We gonna handle this different. You know what I mean? Yeah. I might talk to him like, look, what the hell you doing, man? You know, so with this and that. Yeah. He gets stupid, then you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, he is gonna get stupid. He is stupid. gonna get stupid. So yeah. you know, more than likely, more than likely. Then you know, then like that's when I get to handle the man. You know what I mean? And for you women that stalk like like call a nigga, call a nigga phone, call them like I had one look at the license plates and get her whole information. Call her house, call her cell phone, call her mama cell phone. Damn. I mean really? uh, yes. Uh, that's that's real stalking girl, right there. I'm telling you, that's man. like calling the police. I mean <laughs> that bro did all kinds of crap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Intervening in, in, in our relationship, but you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? In our relationship, we were strong in that. So, yeah. you know, what she did or what she said or what she was trying to do, you know, we surpassed that. You know right. what I mean? You know, move on to something else. You know what I mean? But, I mean, honestly, though. Damn, that's, that's super stalker yeah, right there. Yes. Now, like, how did you find out, though? Like, how did you find out that all that was happening? Well, I didn't find out later that's how it happened. Okay. But I found out that, you know, I, I kind of, I was wondering how the hell that you get these people numbered. That you calling them on that her mama house? She didn't stay right. with her mama, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it was just crazy, dog. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like, yeah. So, man. like, now, that was, like, she was talking to you, though, but, like, following her. Both. Doing both, yeah. yeah okay. doing so, both. yeah, at the at the end of the day, I guess at the, it's going to affect both of y'all. So. Yeah. yeah. She was doing both, though. I'm talking about, dude, old girl dropping me off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next thing you know, baby girl jump out the bushes like, I'm going to kill y'all. <laughs> You straight up to her. Yes, dog. You know what I'm saying? And, and this motherfucker, you know, kind of feisty, you know, the one that's stalking, you know, she's a yeah. fighter, a scrapper. You know what scrapper. I'm she's a scrapper, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, girl, like, I'm about to get out and, and, and uh, handle that. No, you ain't. Come no, you ain't. Yeah, yeah. I, I fought her before. <laughs> <laughs> I fought her before. In real before. life, you done fought that battle, so yeah, uh, you, yeah. you good on that. Yeah, I'm good on that. But, I mean, other than that, though, I mean, these women, dog, they crazy as hell. I mean, they can get crazy, you know what I'm saying? And don't get it twisted. I think dudes are the really dudes that really started the stalking thing. You know yeah, I, yeah, I, I always, yeah, I think that dudes is original stalkers. Yeah, yes, dog, for real, for real. Yeah. For real. I mean, they, they put that up in there, out there, dog. Right. And just ran away with it, because niggas in bushes, niggas climbing trees, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They having four-story buildings to get to a bro. You know? For sure. Uh, nah, that's the truth, man. Yeah. Hey, don't forget, man, if you're on eblockradio.com, on Ustream, then you got to hit us up, 760-283-4647, and holler at your boy, all right? Keep on the phone lines right now. Hit that number one key so we can hear what's on your mind. I got a couple of uh, comments I want to read off of the uh, off of the social stream, but we're going to hit the phone line first, though. I got a 313-926. You're on live straight from the eblock. Holler at your boy. What up, though? What up, though? 926 -313. Three one three nine two six. Hello. Yeah. What up, though? What's going on? What's popping, dog? You live? What's popping? Good. I like the topic tonight. I don't have no comment, but I'm just listening. Oh, that's what's up. You yeah. got. You gotta have a comment, though. What you think? Man, I'm 
Oh, that's, oh what's, that's what's that's what's up. Hey, good looking out though. Thanks for the love. Appreciate you. No problem. For sure. <laughs> didn't want to say that. Nobody mm-hmm. want to talk about the stalker issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so look, I'm gonna read one of these right quick. All right, uh, Mr. 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 Mr
He working to get at boo boo. You yeah, exactly. Yeah. He working that. She probably don't even. He probably don't even know who's right. nigga in there. You know what I'm exactly. saying? You know what I'm saying? They probably just met. You know, they text here and there. You mm. know what I'm saying? You know how shit start up. You exactly. know what I'm saying? In a relationship or whatever, you know what mm. I mean? Shit started up, you know, you on right off rip, you don't talk to her 24-7 every day, you know what I mean? So, right. you know, she shoot him a text, he shoot her a text, he shoot her a text, then that shit get to escalate, the phone calls and the other phone calls shit. Another shit, right. You know what I'm saying? So, that right there set the dude off, man. I'm talking about, I mean, it probably ain't right for us to get so angry, but we feel like we've been played. Yeah, feel like we've been played, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean. That right there, dog. Yeah. So I mean, with with that understanding, though, like like I say, we've been in that situation where you've been kind of the, the dude on the side, you know, texting and shit. Like, oh, she's still showing me some flavor. But at the end of the day, she probably at the crib telling dude, like, oh, hell no, I'll fuck with him. Like, he ain't doing mm-hmm. shit now. Nah. Mm-hmm. He takes me, I be I be rejecting and I'm doing this and shit. Mm-hmm. But she telling me like, oh yeah, well, uh, shit, I'm gonna see what I can do. You know, shit like that. Right. So so it's making me look like a stalker at that point. You know what I'm saying? Right. So with, with that idea in mind, it's like. It's like how how do I respond if I find out my girl ex is stalking her because she might be lying to me. Right. She might be feeding him the, you know, oh, nigga, everything all good shit, but then telling me he's stalking her. So now I'ma jump in there and look all stupid because you you letting him in. Right, right. Yeah, so that's that's fucked and up. And my man just texted me, um, shout out to my nigga Mel and shit, his name was Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Marvin for the play. Yeah, yeah Marvin. Yeah, he just changed it to you, yeah, Marvin. No, what up, man? Hey, Thanks for checking me out, dog. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying, Marvin in the building. And we, if you on, if you on eblockradio.com, man, you gotta hit us up seven six zero. 283-4647. Hit that number one key. It's on the phone lines, dog. Hit that number one key so we can holler at you. I got uh, Yogi Lee in the building, man. I got 313-680. You on live straight from the E-Block. Holler at your boy. What up, though? What up, though? What's cracking? Hey, can y'all hear me? I'm on the road. I had to call me in. I'm, I'm on, on location. On location? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. What up, though? So I'm just, I'm just breaking in, so I, I probably missed a little bit, but we're talking about stalkers. Yeah. So we want to know if, uh, if, if you got the new, you know, you got your new dude, and then you find out that his ex girlfriend is stalking him. Like, what do you do? Like, do you intervene? No, I leave that up to him. Yeah. I'm not about to get murdered because these chicks out here, they, they kind of crazy. They lose. Right, I feel that, but like, so do you not intervene, and and do you even want to know, or you just you just want them to handle it and stay out of it? Well, I want to communicate with them. Okay. I, I would definitely do that and say um, that he needs to he needs to protect me as right. well. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel. If you, if you, it's just like just like the new relationship, the new new. Yeah. Yeah, I would talk to him. Keep keep communication open and, and just say, look, babe, I, I thought we in this together. I, I was hoping that you could protect me. You you might want to handle that you know, before any violence. <laughs> you might want to handle that. Uh, our relationship. Right. So I'm, I'm guessing that's the right way to go. Right. Well, let me... Uh... At, least, at, least, at least see his side of the story. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. you don't want to jump to conclusions because... Mm-hmm. You, he, you might think she's talking, but at the same time, he might give her good good. Exactly. See, that's exactly what I was saying about women, because I know women good for that. Yeah. But they'll tell you that in a minute, like, yeah, dude, just all on my head, like, I can't stop him. And then in the next breath, she texts him, like, ah, oh, what up, though? I ain't talked to you in a long time. You know what I'm saying? How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? All right. But, yeah, but if you ain't thinking about him, then what you worry about? What are you, how you doing? Right. right, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But that's what's up, though. Hey, thanks for your call, though, baby. I know you're on location. I'm going to let you get back. Appreciate you. <laughs> All right, peace. For sure. Yeah, but see, I think that's what make it, you know, I think that's what make it a sticky situation. So it's like you don't want to jump in there because, like, man, she could be lying. She could be setting you up. Or, I mean, you know what? I won't even call it lying. I'll call it, like, I, I some women just... Some women don't know how to, to separate, you know what I'm saying, to, to let shit go. And what I mean by that is just that, like, she wanted this to do, but she kind of, like, for whatever reason, don't want to hurt his feelings or something. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. he just keeps shit, keep leaning along. Then he looking like a stalker. Right. And but that's my thing, though. That's my thing, yeah. though. Why is you worried about this dude's feelings if you don't want to be with him no more? Uh, this, so that's, that's they, the grand question. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to know. Right. Why do you care about this dude's feelings yeah. if you on to the next one? Right. Fuck him. 
still want you to be my friend. No, it ain't gonna happen like that. Yeah, he's, he's be in between them, them thighs. So right. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no friendship going on while you ain't with no friendship. Him, while another dude in between them thighs. Ain't it, no ain't, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. It no, ain't some, no possibility? It's a possibility. No. Some people, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but not normally. Not normally. Yeah, no. No, no. Hey, we got it. We got Gigi in the middle, man. We're going to hit her on the phone line real quick, though. If you got, if you on eblockradio.com or if you on Ustream, though, don't forget, man. Hit us up. 760-283-4647. Hit that number one key, man. Holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet straight from the eblock. Oh, got to say that on the planet. And we're going to the phone lines. I got Gigi in the building. 313-208. You on live straight from the eblock. Holla at your boy. What up, dog? Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all all right? What up, though? Shit, how you sleep. All right. Nothing much. Y'all miss me? Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit, come on through with the wine. Ah, uh, I hear it. Okay. I'm like, what? I was going to say, okay, what? never mind then. Yeah. <laughs> you like, yo, what the fuck with us? What? Well, it, uh, but, um, now the topic, you asking, um, Tell me what you're asking. Basically, I'm saying if you if you got your new dude, you know what I'm saying, y'all kicking it, and then you find out that his ex girlfriend is stalking him, like, do you intervene? Right. Okay. That's that's what I thought you said. Yep. Um, absolutely not. Uh, no. Because the Because, you know, as a woman, I 
I mean, I, your job is to protect me. So don't bring no bullshit to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a, a pocket full of cuckoo in me, too. Huh, I don't want to go to jail on nobody else's account. Let me go for something, you know, that I did. For so sure. let me go for whooping bitch ass because you feel her crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I mean, that, that's what a lot of it be, I, man. I, I just need for you to, to check your bags at the door. Don't bring none of that extra baggage. Make sure the door is closed. And when you're done... Be done. Ain't none of that, you know, oh, we, we still friends, or oh, we gonna go kick it for a minute, or, you know, we gonna do this, that, woo, woo, woo. When you done, you done. Yeah. You know, be that. That's Let sure. your work be your mind if you done. For be sure. done, flat out. And that's how you get a you lot, know? that's how you weed out the craziness shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you come to agreement that you're done, and this motherfucker real life, like, damn, she really not fucking with me, so fuck it. Yeah. No, that's what the crazy shit. That's what the crazy get out. Yeah, it's true. That's what the crazy let loose them, but that's the crazy. That's the crazy that you know whoever been holding on to for the longest. Now they just letting it out, letting all their true colors hang out. But guess what? Some people still be the dummy and still hang around. You know what I'm saying? And feed off into that. So evidently, some people like that type of attention. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When they get it like that too. So. It's always two sides to a story. So, like I said, I will not be intervening in anything yeah, unless intervene. it's to save my face. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, Other yeah. than that, you know, chin check your balls. You know, get that straight. I don't need nobody popping up on me. Right. But uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely not intervening unless it is absolutely necessary. Right. For sure. All right, shit. Well, that's what's up, dog. Thanks for your call, baby. Should have been in the studio, but it's all good. Yeah, appreciate you. Somewhat. Yeah, yeah. I'll holler at you about that a little later. Oh, all right, now. <laughs> good. <laughs> she fooled always, always got something on deck, man. Shout out to Gigi in the building, or almost in the building on the phone. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it can be... I, I, think, I think that's the reason why it's a sticky situation. You don't know when to intervene because... You ain't for certain if, you know, if your new boo really didn't let go. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if they ain't really having to let go, then now you about to look dumb all trying to chin check yeah. some dude about some shit that, that she leaving over. And because you actually don't know the broad that well because y'all just, you know. Y'all just getting together. Yeah. So, it's, you know what I'm saying? You got to put the shit in her hand for yeah. her. To, like, she, she handling her business. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and if she not, or if she just stringing the dude on. You know right. what I'm saying? And, and me being new dude, I, well, I'm asking these questions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Me, I'm going to say, dog, you still fuck with my man's and shit? You know, simple, still, simple as that. Simple as that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all still be kicking it or whatever. I think shit, you got to ask that even if it ain't a yeah. new relationship. You got to ask true, that. True, true, true. Shit, because, hey, I guarantee you this, they ask your ass. Oh, sure. <laughs> they ask your ass. For sure. Hell yeah. Hey, don't forget, man, if you're on eblockradio.com, you got to hit us up, 760-283-4647. And also, we're going back to commercial break and we're doing something new this time, dog. Okay, what's Yeah, so we're going back to commercial break, but I do want to let y'all know that if you want to advertise with Straight from the eBlock Radio, then all you got to do is hit us up. Q Lewis at flipside inkcom All right, we got some wonderful rates. You can get your you can get your commercial play on YouTube, Ustream, and on the radio show. You feel me? Oh boy, dog, the rates is real good too, though. So we gonna go to the commercial break right quick, dog. We be back in like one minute, dog. You know what it is, dog. The liveest cloud radio show on the planet, straight from the eBlock man. It's your boy, Little Albert Stern. Most money. <laughs> we in the building, dog, for sure. Get your commercial on. Witness the black tie experience. Black tie photography, servicing all of Metro Atlanta area. My name is Cedric Pitts, your photographer. Check out our website at www.blacktiepictures.com or like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash black tie pictures. Let me capture your professionalism in class and you will have the ultimate black tie experience. Yes. They got to show you shows. <laughs> yo, 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 man, we back in the building, dog. You know what it is, dog. Straight from the E Block. You know, live as cloud radio show on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man said Black Tie Photography. You know what I'm saying? You can hear your commercial just like that every Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Just hit me up on the, uh, you, you know, you can hit me up on Twitter if you want to. If you want to DM me, Hood Howard Stern. If you want to send me the email, QLewis 
at flipside-ink.com. Get your advertiser on, man. This is wonderful for you. I mean, we got some deals for you. I ain't even, I ain't even mad at you. And you know what? If you got a t-shirt company, we even wear your t-shirt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll wear your t-shirt on YouTube. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got over 40,000 listeners. You oh, better get your you. game up. We out you. you know what I'm saying? If you want to get out here, we going to put you out here. Yeah. So I'll let your boy, man. Yeah. But anyway, so we back. If you just joined us on eblockradio.com or if you just call in, you know what we're talking about today. Yo, new boo, man. Her ex is still stalking her. How do you intervene? Now, I think that uh, I, I'm going I'm to switch it up a little bit because, you know what I'm saying, we, we, we moving on in the topic, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to say, what do you do in this aspect where... It's, it's you, you know what I'm saying? You got the new little hookup or whatever. And you got your, you know, you got your ex or, and I won't even call it ex. I'll say your, your chick that you used to smash maybe. And she's just not dealing with the fact that you got a girl now. Right. And if she's starting to be a problem, when do you, when do you mention that to your girl? You know what I'm saying? Like, because in order for her to ever even have the, the option to intervene, she got to know what's going on. True. So when do you actually let her know? I mean, or do you? <laughs> or do you I'm, just try to handle it without mentioning it? I mean, if me personally, mm -hmm. I got a little crazy in me too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if you deal with me long mm -hmm. enough, you know, it's a lot of shit that can go over my head. Yeah. But it's a lot of shit. When I get to that point, motherfuckers, you better get out the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> honestly, right. honestly, you know okay. what I'm saying? So, knowing right there, you might, they might, they gonna, I mean, I had some women try me. Yeah. And then I tried them, <laughs> and then they figured it out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm just saying, he ain't the one. No, I, I'm not. I'm not buying it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And some dudes, you know, they pussy foot around. Yeah. You know, some women pussy foot around. Oh, I still want you to be in my life as my friend. Yeah. I don't never want you to leave out my life. I want to always be in contact with you, even if you're married or this and that, yeah. this and that. Some boo. That's a boo. That's a boo. The words of Mama, Mama P. P. That's a boo. <laughs> for real. I mean, for real, it's, it's not gonna happen like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, honestly, you cannot be friends, Can't be friends. With, with a person that you've been, unless you had kids with them and it's over with and that shit dead and gone and said nothing. And mm. okay, you have to be friends for this kid's sake. Yeah. But if ain't nothing, you know what? Though? That's, that's a. I don't know about that one. Though. You know, that's something I was thinking about too, because it's like. You know how when you're in a relationship, you always be thinking, or or I think we even had a topic before where it was like, you know, should you still be friends with your ex? And I know being being a parent of, of the kids or whatever, always seem to give people the the excuse to still be cool with their ex. Now, I know that, like, I, I know that they the, the, let's say that's the father or the, the mother of your child, but at the same time, it's still, you still got a, you still got a friend of the opposite sex. So yeah. now that's fucked up because I can't have one. I mean, I, you, that. Ain't that kind of, that's that, kind of fucked that up though. Kind of, it's it's like, 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 no, no, we just cool. Like, I just talked to him because of my kid. Like, okay. And? Like, I don't know, that, that's unfair for us. It, it is. But, it is, honestly. But dealing with us, you know I come with a package. Yeah. You know I, I come with a package. Yeah. And so even though this know. ignorant bitch part of the package, <laughs> you don't want her to be part of the package, but this ignorant bitch is a part, a part of the, of the package. package. Yeah. So you should know this off rip. Like, look, man, if you want to deal with me, I have a son. Yeah. I have a, that's when communication come out. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I got a retarded ass baby mama. You yeah. know what most dudes do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unfortunately. I mean, unfortunately yeah. But, I mean, and you got to just communicate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Put everything out on the table. Yeah. You put everything out on the table. Yeah, you ain't got a word about, about this. Yeah. Like, about this bitch, you want to call your girl or do this and do this, do yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? She ain't going to do that because, and if she do do it, your girl ain't going to do shit but blow it off like this bitch yeah. is crazy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What about those situations like that? I, I know you don't really watch it. Okay. <laughs> All right. But it's a throwback to the game. So any people that, that watch the game, you know what I'm saying? The, the TV show on BET. Now, last year. <laughs> Up. So last year, Derwin Davis, you know what I'm saying, he had the baby mama, but he had to move on with his wife or whatever. But the thing was, him and baby mama was cool, like, for real. Like, that was cool for real. So, like, shit, when you got a situation like that, I mean, I, I don't know, when you got a situation like that, that's kind of, that, that's a hard one. Because, see, he gets to say, well, yeah, she the, she the mother of my kid or whatever, so I get to still be cool. So, that, that shit don't, I don't know. It kind of get yeah, it's just kind of, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of unfair. It, it, it honestly, is. it is unfair to, yeah. the, 
to the one that coming in the relationship and mm-hmm. you got but it's stuttering stuff you got yeah. to deal with. I mean, you and know then, that you and then that, that could turn that could turn her into a stalker too though. Yeah. Cause we was all cool before. You know what I'm right. saying? We all cool before. So now you know what I'm saying, now that that, that your wife would have said, hey, you gotta chill out and shit, now I got a problem. So you know that's gonna be an issue. She could be adding your shit, throwing toilet paper in the bushes, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that, whatever, whatever, you know, crazy bitches do. I, I don't know, because they do everything, right? <laughs> they do everything. But but I'm just saying, so with with all of them with all them alternatives or all them things that could be going on, it's like you can't never you can't never jump in there mm-hmm. because you don't really know what's going on. So 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 you I think as a person, a new person, yeah. stay new. Stay new. Don't right? jump into no shit that you ain't got no no business jumping into. Cause right. a lot of deaths happen that way. You understand know yeah, yeah, me? Yeah. You don't know what this bro and this dude been through. Been you know through, what I'm yeah. saying? You the new dude. Now you want to put your cape on. I hope it can stop bullets. <laughs> For real, I hope it can. Right, right. you gonna get some hot ones. You know, yeah. bullets is, they, they they that's not fun. You yeah. know, they hot. Yeah, you know about that. Yeah, that's hot. They hot. <laughs> you know about yeah, taking they, bullets. The bullets hot. You ain't taking no bullets for doing some Captain Sable shit. No, hell, okay. No, 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 no. I mean, it's cool if you did. I mean, that's your man. But anyway, man, if you're on eblockradio.com, you got to hit us up, 760-283-4647. Hit that number one key. Or if you're on the phone lines right now, hit that number one key so you can holler at your boy, man. We're going to shoot to the phone lines real quick. I got 586-244. You're on live straight from the eblock. Holler at your boy. Man, you need to stop talking about shit you see on TV. These baby mama, these bitches is nuts. <laughs> and so what? So what do you do? That bitch, these bitches is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> these bitches just don't move on. Well. He can't see me. Right. They don't. And so look. So so what do you do then? So if your if your uh if your ex stalk you, what what do you do? I what I want to do because then I'll be probably facing charges. Hell no. Hell no. Yo yo, you don't want to put that out here? Then you might go to jail. You ain't going to jail off of my shit. What? What the hell going on? I don't know. It's a reverb. Hello? Hey, that's all. That's all I have to say. Oh, all right, that's what's up, dog. For sure. Right. Thanks for your call, dog. That's the Houston right. shit playing in the background. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got the reverb. I'm like, dog, what's going on? Yeah, it's all my man say he don't want to go to jail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he don't want to get locked up. Yeah. Hey. So, I mean, like, when that pop off, I mean, because it's kind of just like, I just want to, I be using TV examples and shit. Yeah. So, I mean, you go back to a uh, thin line between love and hate and shit. Remember, so it, Brandy was stalking the hell out of his ass, and he never told her old girl because he was trying to protect her. So, like, do you, would you do that same thing? Like, would you try to handle this first? See, see, them movies motherfuckers supposed to be learning from. You understand me? <laughs> you're supposed to go yeah, in and tell You see what the fuck happened to him when he ain't doing it. You do the opposite. <laughs> you're opposite. Yeah, you're supposed to do the opposite. You're supposed to say, Fuck it, I'm gonna do it like him. Right. He had that problem, but I ain't gonna have that you problem. Gonna have that problem. Yeah, okay, you ain't gonna have that problem. I'm gonna be at your doorstep, nigga, and with a pistol and a knife, like, get in the car. <laughs> I get out of here, no, right. for real, get in the car. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you tell her. You yeah, tell her I'm right. putting out there, baby. Put it out there. Yeah, yeah, you know. I you mean, swear, you put everything on the table. Yeah. You can't put everything on the table. Everything. That's how you end out the street with all your bags. You do. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's okay. different. Okay. That's different. Okay. Anyway, dog. Yeah. Hey, so if you're on eblockradio.com. <laughs> Check us out. All right, 760-283-4647, man. Hit that number one key. But uh, let me see. Oh, that's Gigi over there talking shit. Now, she say that, now she's saying that the uh, she say the child is the package, not the other parent. Yeah. You got to yeah. deal with this bitch. I got to talk to this bitch sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you know do you? Yeah. Kind of. Especially the baby young, which was you young, yeah. yeah. You, you know gotta, you gotta deal with. Yeah. But it's a certain age when the, you know, when your baby get a cell phone. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or when your baby get older, you ain't gotta deal with that yeah. as much. Right. But the motherfucker right. will call you and say he need this or they need that or this yeah. need this. All right, that's all you need to talk. We need to talk about. No, it shouldn't be going off into another conversation like what y'all do last night or what you do. No, no, it ain't going. How your mama doing? Yeah, how your mama doing? Everybody okay? Right. Your brother's cool. Your brother's cool. Right. Your brother's cool. No, no, it's supposed to go like that. You supposed to talk about babies and the babies only. You know what I'm saying? Keep that shit moving. Keep that shit 100. That's what's up, man. So I don't know. So if I'm in that situation, though, man, and like you said, just learning. From the uh, from the movie and shit, I think that off rip. I guess you do gotta say something. Just so I, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give 
my girl the heads up just because if I'm getting stalked, she is she getting stalked too. We both mm -hmm. getting stalked mm -hmm. at the end of the day. So if somebody's stalking me and we together, I mean, we should we both getting stalked. Yeah, so I guess yeah. I need to let her know. Yeah. But then it. Cause you don't want to put her in a situation blind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how she most dudes get caught yeah, up. That's how, that's yeah, why, that's why we get caught up. We just do shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? These women, they, they fucking plot. You understand yeah. me? They got they got a whole blueprint of how they going to do this <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? We just do. You yeah. know what I mean? And dog, and sometimes dog, that shit will get you twisted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, don't just say we crazy as dudes, man. I mean, women, women are are nutty, dog. I mean, yeah, they are. From putting sugar in your gas tank to putting losers, scratching loser on your car. Scratching you know? loser, <laughs> yeah. right? Right, right. Keying right, loser bitch, and your thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, right, so, I'm seeing, I'm like, but what you uh, I mean, if you uh, if you in a relationship though, yeah. and what well, I do, it matter how long you've been in a relationship before you like try to step in some shit like that. Cause like, what if you married? If you married, I think it's different. I think, I think, I think it's different if you married. So I think if you married, I think it's. I mean, you got to you got to jump in that bitch right now. You got to jump in that bitch right now. But now what? What if what if she don't or what if you find out about the little stalking situation or whatever and she never mentioned it to you though like dude would you be mad that she never mentioned this shit or would you be happy that she was trying to handle it herself no. or would you think she was lying? I don't think she was lying. <laughs> Ain't that what you always think? Hell yeah, she was lying. You always think that. You know what I'm saying? And I would be upset. Yeah. Because for one, you put me in a situation blind. Yeah. I don't know what this nigga up to. I don't know what's going through this nigga head. So if I see him and the first thing he do, because I don't know to reach for my weapon. I mean, right. you know what I'm saying? Right <laughs> right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If this motherfucker upset, angry, he texts you a million times, you out in the corner doing like this, you know what I'm saying? Tucking away, you know, right. texting this nigga like, no, man, chill out. Why you acting crazy? Why you running? No. And then I walk up, we get out of the car, I see him. He go straight in my shit. Straight in your shit. <laughs> you know what I'm straight in your shit. Straight in my dick. <laughs> Right. Go to sleep, hope. You know what right. I'm saying? And I would be pissed off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, honestly, dog, I mean, that's why everything should be out on the table, dog. Yeah. I mean, new relationship but not new relationship. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Look, I got a situation. I can handle it. Uh, I don't need your help. This and this yeah. and that. This is what's going on. Mm -hmm. And blah, 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 let me take care of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, is it a, you think it's a difference? Because we're talking about stalking. I mean, you know, stalking can take many different forms. So, you think it's a difference if somebody like physically stalking, like following you type of thing, or like, cause you know, with the social media shit, you can start like that. Yeah. So like, you think that's a difference? I think that, yeah, so you think it's physical stalking and stalking on the internet is like, what? Nigga, ain't no physical and unphysical. All that shit stalking, that shit crazy. <laughs> no matter what form of way, how you do it, what you call it, dog, it's stalking, dog. It's stalking. You checking up on a motherfucker that you don't see or, or you don't deal with no more or mm -hmm. this motherfucker person that moved on mm -hmm. and you just have it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's stalking. Yeah. And you checking their Facebook page, checking their shit, that's, that's, that's stalking. That's basically stalking. Now, what do you do about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, do, do you step in on that quicker? Because, like, that's some shit you can kind of nip in the bud, or do you, like, do shit just to piss off the stalker? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know I know a lot of people do a lot of, do that shit. I done heard to piss stories. off the stalker? Yeah, I done heard a lot of stories about yeah. motherfuckers putting up shit just to just piss off. Just because, just to piss yeah, off. Yeah. Sending subliminal messages, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of people. Sub tweets and right, shit. Right, right, right. But, I mean, shit. Yeah, I mean, I will do it. Yeah. Just leave me alone. Just, I'm going to agitate you as much as right. I can. Just leave, leave me alone. Leave me the hell alone, huh? Right. Hell nah. So, I, what you think about this? Cause I, I think that most stalkers are are bred. I, I say most because it's something that's just crazy. You know, that's just that just obviously can't let it go. But I think most stalkers stem from situations where shit, we not we not closing the door all the way. I mean, so it, it appeared to be a stalker. You know what I'm saying? So like, for instance, if I got a new girl and I got an old girl who every now and then she hit me up. You know what I'm saying? And and she know I got a new girl. You know what I'm saying? But. But still, I, I still let the door stay open. Like, oh, shit, whatever. You know, kick it all casually and shit like we friends. Like, I think shit like that, you know, because once you get to a point where you just like, man, fuck it, I'm straight. Like, I don't need to deal with you no more. Shit, she not going to understand that. And vice versa. So it's like, dude ain't going to understand that. If you leaving the door open, like, ah, shit, well, you know, blah, 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 you know, how your kids doing and shit, you know what I'm saying? They ain't jacked your dick in a long time, don't touch me, you know, that kind of shit, whatever you say to your, you know, the nigga that you don't, you ain't seen in a minute. But you do all of that, and then once you make that conscious decision, like, you know what, fucking out, let me chill out and shit and do this shit right, then they ain't gonna understand that shit. And that's how motherfuckers turn into stalkers. I think that's the that's the main reason people stalk. Because the 
the the other person is slightly leaving the door open and shit, and then when you actually set that bitch, it's like it, it was no warning to that person. Mm -hmm. I think for dudes, that's our worst thing mm -hmm. is to think something else going on and it ain't. Yeah. So I think it's the worst shit. Like, oh, oh, oh this ain't going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and it really ain't shit. So I think yeah, that's the worst thing. I think that's why dudes do the most stalking. I think that's why. A lot of women who in situations like that, who got the new dude and shit, won't won't really speak up about the other dude who's talking to her because she know that she part of the problem. She leaving that door. In yeah, door. she part of the problem, right? So she kind of leaving it open, so she know she really can't tell you about it because then you go start, you know, questioning other shit. Then when you start questioning other shit, then it's a whole different situation. In terms of talking to like what the fuck is really going on, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that's a whole other situation right there. Hey, don't forget, man, you got like five minutes though. If you're on eblockradio.com, you got to hit us up, 760-283-4647. If you're on the phone line, man, hit that number one key and holler at your boy, man. If you've been a stalker, it's okay, man. You can let us know. We ain't going to... We gonna throw you out there. Right, right. Stalker. We wanna hear from you, Marvin type motherfuckers too. You know? <laughs> yeah, Marvin. Hey, <laughs> now if you a crazy stalker, like yeah. you crazy, you, you she didn't say it no, and you still. You I want. Know. I want to know what took you to that level that you say, fuck. I'm gonna get her anyway. I want to know that shit. That's a level of insanity right there. Yeah, I want. That's why I want to know. That's something. You know, yeah. yeah, I just want to know it. <laughs> Crazy than a motherfucker. I, I would you like. You want to know? Yeah. Why? Because, dog, it's always a method to the madness, man. Shut Shut up. Up. I don't want to know the method. You want to know the method? No, you want to you no, be crazy? No, I don't want to be crazy. I just want to. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Curious, dog. You're curious. I'm curious. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Curious, George, in the building. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So you know, you know what we gotta do every every week before we get up out of here, man. We gotta ask that question, like. So I know you said you had the experience where you know, what I'm saying basically she was tagging up. Uh, uh, license plate numbers and all that shit, right? right. Yeah. So, like, what what ended up happening? Nothing. Just kind of, just kind of faded out. Faded out. Faded out. Yeah. Figured out one bullshit. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? I, I was not playing. You know, yeah. there ain't nothing you can do to change my mind. Okay. You know, once they, once you know, she figured that out. She just said, like, "Fuck it." Yeah. You know, okay. Just gave up on it. Yeah. yeah. Basically. So shit, have you ever had it the other way around where you know what I'm saying you had a you had a girl who had an ex who was talking to her? Like, you ever had that situation? Oh yeah. yeah. What happened? What you do? Once he saw me, you know what I'm saying? He, like, <laughs> he ain't even done with all this shit. Man, fuck this, man. <laughs> it ain't working. It ain't working, dog. It ain't working. So you ain't never have to intervene? I mean, no. I yeah. just showed my face one time, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I don't know if it just ended from that or whatever the hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But right, I know a combination I, of a few yeah, things. Yeah, a combination of yeah. a few things, but then saw me like, fuck, I'm not even. I ain't gonna deal with that shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can have her. Yeah. Uh, basically. I, ain't, I don't think that, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think I ever been in that that situation before. So honestly, I don't know what I do. Because I, I think always, if that situation did present itself, always I'm gonna always think of that same shit, though. Like, man, she probably left the door for that nigga. You know what I'm saying? That, not to take no wind out of, you know, somebody stalking you, because obviously that could really be a problem. But I, I ain't going to lie. The first thing I'm going to think is like, uh, so what you telling this nigga? Right. I, I'm not going to think like, damn, he crazy. Girl, get some help. Right. Right. I'm going to think, uh, so what did you tell this nigga? What, yeah. what is he thinking? <laughs> exactly. What is he thinking? Like, why is he thinking that? Shit, that's what I want to know. Because you know, because he's stalking. He's stalking, like, yeah. yeah. Right, so you know why he's stalking. <laughs> right. Right. He left you some messages, some deranged, <laughs> crazy messages. He told you why he was doing it. Exactly. So you know exactly yeah, why. Exactly. You might as well just keep it real with everybody. Yeah. That's the one thing, though, right there. Yeah, most women ain't gonna keep it real on that aspect though. You know what I'm saying? Man, I think I got Yogi Lee hit the, hit the one key again. She wanna talk again? Ooh, let's, I don't know, let's go to the phone lines. Right, hey, you got about three minutes though. Hit us up if you're on eblockradio.com, 760 283 4647. Holler at your boy, man. We're going back to Yogi Lee on the, on, on location. What up, though? What up, though? <laughs> hey, what up, though? I just had to say this because you were saying that sometimes you had to leave the door open. That's not necessarily true. Now, I'm going way back in the day. And Q, you remember, you know what's up. Way back in the day when I had that stalker. I didn't do Well, no, see, now see that, that's a crazy, was, that's a crazy stalker. That's the difference. <laughs> he probably listening right now. You better calm down. You <laughs> probably <laughs> tuned in on your ass right now. I already done changed my name and my address, you know. Right. So I, I think I'm safe, so. No, nah, yeah, that, that was a crazy stalker. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, so yeah. For all those who don't know, I did have to change my identity because old boy did uh, kind of threaten me. So this stuff you should take seriously is yeah. real. Oh yeah, it's real shit. I, I definitely ain't taking nothing out of it. And you're right. Now that's one of the that's one of the rare cases though, because most times though. Is because the door been left open. Then you got them crazies, you know, like you talking about. So you got them crazies. They out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but shout out to well, the identity change. <laughs> so I had to put that out there for the ladies. Just be careful. Let it go. For sure. That's what's up. Words of wisdom right there. Right, right, let it go. All, All right. right. So thanks for your call, though. Appreciate yeah. it. Okay. Bye. Yeah, but no, nah, she, yeah, she did have a little low-key stalking situation, but that was a crazy stalking though. See, that's one of the ones, though. And it, it be those, and that's what you want to know about. You want to know how you got crazy like that? I don't want to know, so I'm leaving it at that. But, <laughs> but yeah, man, since you got like two minutes, because we about to get up out of here on time tonight. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So 760-283-4647. And don't forget, man, if you want to hear your commercial on Straight From The E-Block, dog, hit me up, Q Lewis at flipside-ink.com or just hit me up on Facebook at uh, uh, Hood Howard Stern or on Twitter at Hood Howard Stern. Just hit me up, dog. We can talk about some rates. You know what I'm saying? We can get you on YouTube and on the Loudest Cloud Radio Show on the planet, man. Over 40,000 listeners, man. Holla at your boy. Mm -hmm. Get your shit out here. You feel me? I'm trying to work for you. You know what I'm saying? So do something for you. Anyway, so dog, we're about to wrap it up, dog, because it's time to get up out of here. So you know what I'm saying? We go, we go finalize it right now. So what what you think, dog? Your girl ex boo stalking and shit. Do you check her ass first and then check you? Or do you like how you how you work it? Like how you even work the situation? Well, for one, if she let me know and she talked to me and tell me what's going on and what the situation is and she can take care of it, uh -huh. I will put that in her hands. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because she dealt with that. She was in that. She dealt with him. Yeah. So she dealt with him. Right. And me and him class C together because we gonna clash off rip. Yeah, you know just cuz. Yeah. Just cuz, you know what right. I mean? So we just let her deal with it. And once you're done, be, be done. done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Once you got to the point where like I'm not messing with this person no more, be done. <laughs> Stop <laughs> these dudes alone. Stop right. drinking, stringing women alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You do that, man, you wonder why this broad climbing up the side of the house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you wonder why this broad called out, because just last week you was already thumping her. Right. And then you want not to deal with her for another week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If she don't know that's going on, she think y'all in a relationship, it's going to be a it's problem. Be a problem for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, on our behalf, too, we need to stop stringing women alone and yeah. just be done. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? I don't care how good it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't care how good it is. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Just leave it alone, bro. Yeah. We ain't got to go back. For sure. That's what's up, man. Damn, I don't know what to say behind that, dog. <laughs> hey, but look, so, I mean, we're going to sum it up, basically. So, if I'm in a new relationship, man, she getting stuck and shit, I think, I think it's, a, it's a formula to it. So, first of all, I, I, I really do got to clarify that she really being stuck. So, I, I, I know the serious situation. I know that, that probably if it's my girl, I shouldn't be questioning it. I can't check. A dude for doing what dude's gonna do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can only check my situation. Mm -hmm. So if you letting them in, then I'm gonna check this dude for to for acting on, you know, what he think is going on. Now, if that's not the case and you got a for real crazy stalker, then, you know, at that point, if you feel physically, you know what I'm saying, afraid or like, you know, you feel like it's gonna be some physical harm, then at that point, yeah, I got I got to step in there. And just vice versa, if I got a situation where I got an ex that's stalking me. And, and I know it's not because I'm leaving the door halfway open, then yeah, I think at that point, I'm gonna I'm let you know. You ain't gotta do nothing, but I'm just gonna let you know. So if you see her, you know what I'm saying, that she can't, like you say, just be all in your grill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So bottom line is, man, check the scenario, see what's popping, dog, before you intervene. But at the at the core of everything, just like Mom Money said, dog, quit leaving, quit leaving the door open. You quit leaving the door open, it won't be no stalkers. Won't be none. Hey, so you heard that from, from from the best right here, Monk Money, you know what I'm saying? Spit spit knowledge for y'all right quick, man. I do that. I do, do that. that. Hey, so on that note, man, we about to be up out of here, dog. So thank everybody for hitting us up on eblockradio.com, everybody that called in, everybody on Ustream, everybody all over the world that's listening to the Loudest Cloud Radio Show on the planet, man. You know what it is. Straight from the eblock, live on your dial. It's your boy, the hood, Howard Stern, Q Lewis. Monk Money, all right, P, Auntie Margaret. Uh, oh, word? Yeah, man. Damn. Yeah, man. Damn, I didn't even know, dog. On that note, man, we up out here, dog. Much love, baby. For sure, man. Fat Boy yeah. Fresh. No, it's yeah. not me. You ain't know what it is. Get buzzed in this bitch.
actually have it today. Yeah. 